Good afternoon, everybody. Look, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the, uh, the next new product idea to you. It's Nexus Marketplace. I thought by way of an introduction, and I'm going to keep it quite brief, I'd just like to talk about my own organisation to provide a bit of context. So at Stats New Zealand, we produce um, the most important statistics for New Zealand, and we draw on some pretty sizeable and substantial data sets. If you think about census, and um, also um, at the prices data that we collect in order to produce the Consumer Prices Index. Now we've come to realise in recent years that there is so much value inherent in the data that we collect and not just in the statistics that we produce that it's led us to rethink our strategic vision and so um, our strategic direction and our vision and we've refreshed that and so we're going forth with the vision of unleashing the power of data to change lives. Now we realise that um, a key enabler for us in achieving that vision is to make it much more easy for people to access the data that we hold. And we see that things like APIs and web services are part of the future for us. I think for me, uh, this was drawn out um, by uh, an event that we participated in over the last weekend, GovHack. Census had a couple of teams, one in Wellington and one in Auckland. We were also there to help some of the teams find data. And we got some really good feedback that we did assist some teams get access to um, uh, data sets and also some recently released census APIs. But we can't be at every event and we can't handhold people and we can't always be physically present. So having something like a web based marketplace we think is a good idea. So I'm going to hand over to the Nexus team, to John Gonzalez, who's going to um, lead you through and introduce you to this new product idea. John. Thanks for that great introduction, Carol. Hi, I'm John from the Nexus API Marketplace, and we've created a web platform that brings businesses and government together into a central hub to unlock the enormous potential of government APIs. What are APIs, you might ask? Well, it means application programming interface. And really, it's just a simple way for two computer informations to exchange information between two data sources. But what it really means are the millions of products that it enables that you use on a daily basis. Chances are, if you have a smartphone, you probably have some of these products in your pocket right now. For example, an app that tells you what the current weather is, or what the current traffic conditions are in real time, or when the next bus will be at your stop. These are all apps that need APIs. And what else? Well, little did you know that several of the solutions you're seeing here today are also enabled by APIs. BizBot, Shopin, Easy Comply. They all need APIs to do what they need to do. So as you can see, APIs are the key to enabling any digital product. So how do APIs bring about economic benefits? Well, we all know about the devastating effects of the Christchurch earthquake and the huge scale of the rebuild. You can imagine it got quite chaotic when 40 plus construction companies and infrastructure providers all started their works at the same time. It was a mess. Thankfully, Lens developed the FordWorks Viewer, a digital tool that connected the data feeds from private and public sector to create a one view of all the works in the city of Christchurch. This enabled everyone to manage their works effectively. And since its release, it's generated more than four million in cost savings and is expected to generate 20 million more in the coming years. That's huge. Now this is just one out of thousands of innovative solutions that are enabled by APIs. And it should not take a catastrophe to enable this level of collaboration between private and public sector. Instead, it should be part of the system. And the Nexus Marketplace is here to make the co-design and co-delivery of public services commonplace. So what's preventing us from getting there? Well, over the last three months, we've identified that the main challenge is culture within agencies. But to tackle this big problem, we've also identified three key challenges that will help catalyze change. The first, is not having a single place to find government APIs. The second is there not being any processes to manage the request of APIs. And the third is agencies not having the information they need to make the right decision. When it comes to looking up government APIs, there is no one central location where they can be found. 
This applies to both businesses and government. There are currently multiple websites with varying information, and often, more, more times than not, people revert to using Google to search for them. We're solving this by cataloging all existing government APIs and publishing them on our platform. <coughs> now people can search, explore, and learn more about government APIs in one central location. <coughs> Requesting access to APIs is also challenging. And to be honest, most businesses don't know how to do it. In that same breath, agencies don't have the processes to manage these requests. And what's more troubling is that more often than not, these requests seem to disappear into a black hole, leaving the requesters clueless about where they are in the process. Now we're solving this by providing a few tools that all focus on communication. The first is a process modeling tool that helps business users easily communicate to government how much a government process is costing them. The idea here is to get past the technical aspects of APIs and focus on the problems that they might be able to solve. For example, tax agents currently spend anywhere from 12 to 52 weeks facilitating a process between inland revenue and company's office when winding up a company. These tax agents literally hand one document from one agency to the next when they would really just love it for those two agencies to talk. To illustrate this pain point to agencies, tax agents would use our tool to map their journey step by step and at each step add meaningful information. For example, the time taken, <laughs> the agencies involved, the information being shared, and how much each step costs. Tax agents can also see their journey being mapped right before their eyes. Again, the idea is to get past the technical and to let the businesses tell agencies what's most painful to them. We're basically crowdsourcing pain points for New Zealand government. And with this information, our team, alongside with agencies, will be able to identify opportunities where APIs could create better outcomes for businesses. <coughs> the second tool that's solving this communication challenge is an alignment tool, which demonstrates the economic and strategic benefit of having, of what, of having access to an API would bring. This helps businesses create a business case that helps agencies make a decision about either releasing an API or having a new API developed. In a resource-constrained environment, it's important that agencies have the information they need to know in order to prioritize the demand for APIs properly. <coughs> and lastly, is our request management dashboard, which clearly shows where a request is in the process. It also enables agencies and business users to engage in dialogue. So now, both businesses and agencies can have a productive conversation from the get-go, and they can start the, and they can track the status of their request. Now the real power that comes from all this information are the customer insights that are delivered to agencies via a dashboard. This information is mapped against statements of intent and other key performance indicators for each agency. This will help agencies, again, prioritize the demand for APIs and also help them make an informed decision. Altogether, with the Nexus Marketplace, the request for APIs and the matchmaking between customer demand is simple and effective. So in just three months, we've identified these main challenges, we've developed a functioning prototype, and we've been testing it with both private and public sector. But the bulk of our work has been in driving this change within agencies and gaining significant traction in this all-of-government initiative. We have engaged over 16 agencies who have all given us their support. We're also happy to say that we have been working closely with the government CIO to start defining the standards and best practices around, around government APIs. We also have signed statements of support from Inland Revenue, Statistics New Zealand, MB, Electricity Authority, LINS, Data.gov.nz, and Careers New Zealand, and some of which have already asked us to start developing APIs for them. We've also engaged with 20 businesses and private sector bodies like NZ Rise, NZ Tech, Business New Zealand, and companies like Zero and Trade Me. Because for all this to work, it's crucial that we have both private and public collaborating. So we know there's still plenty of work to be done. And over the next 12 months, we want to continue to focus on developing the prototype, the Nexus, Pro Nexus, Nexus Marketplace, and launch this beta 
by the end of this calendar year. We also want to continue working closely with the government CIO around the best standards and APIs and, sa and practices around APIs and start building 10 high value APIs for agencies like yours. We also want to start engaging the business and development community to start building solutions off the back of these APIs. So what do the team, it goes without saying that this wouldn't have been, all, wouldn't have been possible without the tremendous support of a brilliant team. And I've had the pleasure of working with Bill Gay, who is a researcher and policy analyst from the Ministry for Environment. Sharon Tan, who is a project manager from MB. Oliver Seiler, who is a solution architect also from MB and has been our API evangelist. And myself, John Gonzalez, who has been the entrepreneur of the group and also the CEO of Hashbang. So what do we need from you? Well, don't stop us now because we're having a good time. We're having a ball. And help us continue to push this all government initiative by jumping on board and having your own API initiatives managed through Nexus. And also provide funding to have your own API development piloted with the standards and best practices we're putting in place. <coughs> Building a more productive and competitive economy is one of the key priorities of the business growth agenda. It is also one of the key priorities that the Prime Minister has laid out for this government to achieve. And the Nexus Marketplace is in direct support of that and will help make it happen. Thanks.